Hey everybody, how you doing? Today we're gonna to be tying turkey beards and uh, I'm using number nine uh, from Sergeant Knots. It says number nine. It's tarred net twine. It's good stuff, good stuff. Um, you see, I'm gonna take it out of the bag. Get my old trusty leatherman. Right. All right, I love working with this stuff. I can tie all kind of knots. Of course, I'm a fisherman. Everybody who fishes ties a lot of knots. So I'll show you what size diameter it is. Got a little knot right here. That's not good. Stuff happens. All right, but I gotta do a quick video. Uh, this first one I've done, done, ever done. Uh, but I think it's gonna work great. Okay. Get my line up on there nice and neat. But this is size diameter line reason, number nine. And I get to the rest of how to display your your uh spurs on the beard all in one. Alright. So let me get you pointed down to where our work is. Oh, we still recording. I believe we are. Just give me a second. We are. Oops. Whoops. I hate when this happens. Okay. You know, I'm using this new, this new uh, device I got on my tripod mount. So bear with me. Okay. There's a couple different ways we can do this. Get a pair of scissors. All right, I'm here. Okay. There's all kind of ways you can do this. All right. Take our twine. Okay, after you cut it, after you cut this twine, make sure I got the right. Right, okay. Okay, after you take the twine, you want to take a lighter. I always carry a lighter in my pocket. You never know, you're gonna be stuck in the woods or when you're fishing or whatever. You're gonna need a lighter um, for burning rope or any of that kind of stuff. And you know what? I don't have my lighter on me. Uh, I think about when the last time I used it was. Man, I'm glad I fit. All right, hold up, y'all. All right, y'all. We are back. Uh, I had to go get me another lighter. Uh, I don't know where in the heck the other one went. It stayed in my pocket a long time, but I got me another one, a good old bit. But I like to take that line and just, you know, take your finger. A lot of times you can spit on your finger and just twist it. 
All right, see if I can remember how to do this. I'm gonna cut me a little bit of twine off because I'm gonna need a loop. It's gonna be like, like a snail. And that should be sufficient. All right. All right, I got my little piece, my little snail line, line right here. Put that over here for now. Well, we're gonna take this beard, and it says first time I've done one. I'm gonna start right around here. I don't wanna cover too much of my beard up. I'm gonna cover the meat, the old meaty part. But that's I cured that in borax. Well, I'll take my my line and make like a half hitch. Okay. So there we go. Made like a half hitch. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Make like a half hitch. Then I'm gonna go ahead and keep on wrapping. But line laid on top. Okay. Wrap it real tight. I want the full effect of the beard, the full length. I measured from here all the way down. This was a 12 inch beard. All right. So I don't want, I want to see all my beards about. Well, I'll just wrap and wrap. Every now and then I take the fingernail, put them together. And I'm going to trim this excess off. And there's a lot of different ways of doing this. All right. All right, see, my line's got kind of bound right there. All right, might have to double that. I used to tie a lot of fishing rods over the years. All right, so we got enough there. Let's go back a couple strands. All right, now I'm gonna take this line right here. All right, this this that line right here. I'll put it on top. Okay. Don't worry about that piece. We can trim that off later. Well, in fact, we can trim it off now. Because she ain't going nowhere. We'll just take it and trim it. Let me get my loop out of the way. Got it nice and tight. You can use a razor blade too. But we'll put this loop right here. Over top. Okay, over top, I say, okay, we're going over top of this, of this string, this loop, see a loop, going over top, on top, I go about four or five wraps. Okay, let me cut some twine off. I'm just going to cut it right. Okay. All right. Okay. I know it might look harder than what it looks, but y'all can just fast forward and just taking just gotta be quick. Wet your hand. Don't do. Don't try that at home. All right. Couple wraps. After I make a couple wraps, I mean about four or five wraps, then I'll take and uh take my string. And I'll put it through the loop right here. All right, I got this through the loop. Then you take, hold it, take the string that you just wrapped. Let's see, and you're, you're gonna pull the string through. Okay, I see what's wrong. No. 
one of my wraps came a little loose. See it right there? I got tangled right there. Tagging at it. Like I can pull, I pulled it back out. Okay. It got hung up. All right. But that's all right. Okay, we'll hold that. Okay. And we're going to pull it through. Okay, we're going to pull that through. There we go. That's one side. Done. See right there? Okay. That's one side that is done. Okay, now, okay, now we're going to take and, take and wrap this around the, 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 the pipe or the tube. And we're going to make another half hitch. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. This, this is how much I want for the beard to hang off. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to get a bigger piece of pipe. we got to hold up now. I think that's going to be enough for my spurs. All right, hold tight. Okay, folks. We are back to... Videoing, videoing. Uh, um, hope y'all can see that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, might not be the most pleasant video, but uh, it's it's an, it's enough room. What I'm trying to do is put my 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 spurs along with my beard. But I'm gonna show you that next. It's, it's, I'm gonna do it something different. Take the strings off, but we want a good couple inches. All right, we can go down a little bit. I'd say about that much. All right. Okay, so go about that much. Then we'll go here and I'll show you how we want to do this. Like I say, I am, we'll put a half hitch. Okay, let's get our distance we want. We don't want to, we want a little bit more. Okay. Make a half hitch. And you know, half hitch is like this. Just take the line. And then. I only had a brain. All right. Okay, we got this. Okay. Half hitch will be the easiest way. All right, I can also go with the clove. And I'll tell you, easy way about doing that. You take your fingers. This is called a clove hitch. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. There you go. You got your clove hitch. All right. We'll put that over top. The clove hitch. Pour tight. Make sure I got enough. Okay, now we can go to back to wrapping. Wrap it, wrap it real good. All right. I'm gonna go to wrapping. Okay. That's the wind out there blowing, y'all. Might here in the shop, and the wind it just going down. 
but we're going to wrap it this. And let's keep on going. Okay, let me get my little loop that I made earlier. This little loop. You can use a piece of monofilament, anything you want. Take a couple wraps off. Put that little loop right in there. That's the turkey beard. It's right there. Now what I'll do, I'll just keep on wrapping. Going about four or five times. Okay. All right. Then I'll take what I have left over and put in this loop right here. Okay. Gotta hold it tight. And you pull it. There it goes. We have a turkey beard holder. I got a little bit of white right there, but I like that. That's just me. All right. Okay, now we can just trim, trim the excess off. Sorry, y'all. Smack me. Razor blade probably be the way to go. All right. Then that excess, that excess we have there, take your lighter and just barely touch it. And then smash it in there with your finger. My fingers. I'm a welder by trade, boiler maker. So I've been around this stuff all my life. Okay, but okay, this will hang on a, a cup hook on your on your beard. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, well now I'll take some solid brass. Always use solid brass. This is made in USA. It's 18 gauge red. They call it red brass. Round, dead soft jeweler's brass. Stuff ain't cheap. I think I either got on. I think I got on eBay. Get this puppy open. God, ain't worth five cent, y'all. All right, let me get this open. And while I get this unwound, we'll take a break. I'll take a break. Y'all just y'all stay tuned. Hold up. All right, we're back, y'all. Sorry about that. I need a little bathroom break. Oh, uh, they just raveled up for a re um, taped up for a reason. Um, so it wasn't unravel. And I like a dum dum took it off took it off. And it started unraveling, so I won't le learn a new trick. They don't ever do, don't do that. So we're not going to waste any. This stuff's high dollar, and I got my my Leathermans, or you can use a set of needle nose. In fact, I will get a set of needle nose. Hold up, guys. It's got a flatter edge. I'm still here. Uh, a bigger set, preferably. Uh, I got a 
real big set of uh, there you go. Craft and needle nose from way back. But that way you can flatten it out better. All that good stuff. Flatten the wire out. And let's see how much wire I'm going to need. Okay, we'll go around the tube. So I want to make a wrap. I'm going to wrap it around here. So. Let's give ourselves a little bit to play with here. All right, I'll cut it. That's I cut about probably a foot. Okay. Now what you're gonna, you're gonna like like with this? I'll take the wire and slip it through here. And go around my my string, just over and under, over and under. Sorry, over and under, over and under, over and under, over and under. Maybe not that many times because that, when you do that, that'll that will decrease your line size. But in the same token, while we're doing that, we'll take the turkey um, spurs. Okay. And the less wraps you have, probably the better off you'll be. Yeah, let's unwrap this a little bit. It's the first time for me, y'all. I've been thinking about how I want to do it for, for a long time now. All my beards that I have. Okay, so now I'm... Okay, now I can... I'm such an idiot. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, I beat myself up again. Okay, I want this beard to go on here like that. Or we can get them to go down. So I'll do it opposite. Okay. So now we got both beards on the wire. Now we'll go one wrap, two wraps. Okay, what we got to do now is I know y'all probably y'all probably get. Wow. A little harder than I thought, y'all. Okay. Okay, we got one loop. We'll do another loop. Sure wish I'd get this thing going my way. But y'all get the idea I'm, where I'm going with this. Now... Okay. Well, we got that part. Now we we should have added the wire in there while we were going along. And the spurs. So let's just erase all this video. Okay, folks. We are back. 
And I want to do the line, but I'm thinking I'm going to come around and I'm making this too technical. I really am, y'all. Need to come and make a like a loop in here. Right here, like this. Enough room where you get twine in there. Okay, there's a loop right there. And measure it like we want. Piece of wire left over, which not what I wanted. We'll take this and loop it around the opposite way. Okay, then we'll go ahead and loop it like that. Enough room where we get a twine in there. And we'll flatten it out with the uh, big needle lace pliers. Okay. And we'll use that to get our, our roundness. Okay, now we're gonna wrap. Them. Well, first we'll put our beer spurs on there. Okay. Some people like them up. Some people like them down. We'll put them down. Sorry about that. So we got our, our spurs. Now, we'll take our beard, which we had originally. I'll get some more line. All right. Gotta burn this in. Gotta do it real quick. All right. We'll go and big nip. Oh. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens too. All right. All right, here we go. That's where we want our spurs, just like that. Okay. Okay. Now we'll take our beard. And so. here okay my line through here again come on work with me all right Pull the line through. All right. We'll 
take one one line we'll hold up the, this this line out here okay and we will start wrapping we will be wrapping all right just probably get a good grab on it okay I'll put that up there all right now we can start wrapping I'm going to turn around the other way because that's going to be easier for me to wrap. And you can straighten the wire out afterwards. Maybe I just get a good start. Okay. See my fingers, I'll turn them the way I want them to go. Ooh, that wind is howling out there. All right, I'm gonna take it like this. It's hard doing video, y'all. really is. Alright. I'm going to leave that. Wrap it around. Wrap that around. Okay, now. Now I can start wrapping. See that? I am wrapping away. And while you're wrapping, you want to take that wire and take your string and push it, push it together. Okay, we're getting toward the end. So take a couple wraps off. I may cut me some twine. I'm going to cut myself short. Okay. Scissors. All right. That will off. Uh, melt our line. Okay, we're still twisting, and then we'll take our, let's see, where's our other little line at? Okay, here we go. Here's our loop line, right here. Okay. Okay, here's our loop line. We'll put that the opposite way. I gotta make sure, make sure this on there.
Okie dokie. Did something wrong here. I got a piece of loose. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. Pull that through here, like so. That's the other, this is the other line we started up with right here. Okay. Now we'll take this line, the top line, that we pull through the line. And y'all, that will never come out. Okay. Here we go. Now, we got to go tight. Very tight. And we're going. And we're going. And we're going. And then that's about as far as we can go. Okay. Now we'll take this this line right here, a wrapping line, and pull it through there. Pull it through there and keep a snug hand on it. All right. Now we're going to pull it through, y'all. Okay, it's pulled through. And here's what we got left. Okay. Okay, now we'll cut this piece, our end knot. We'll cut this one first. Do you want me to just pull through? Okay. And we'll cut this one up here. That's done, that's done. We'll take this little bit of strand right here, put the lighter to it. And smash it in there. We'll take this one over here. Smash it on in there. There we go. Lord have mercy, y'all. And it, hang, it hangs on my pipe just like I want it. So we got a finished turkey beard, uh, turkey beard holder. I'm so sorry, y'all. Uh, let me get over here. That was a long, drawn out video. Long, drawn out video. But that's what I want it to look like. I kind of wanted the strain to go wrap around it. And this, if you don't. It's a little bit of uh, meat or, uh, you know, which, which connects to the skin of the turkey or the actual turkey. You can paint that black if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave it alone. But, okay, what's, what's going to happen next? I'll show you what I'm building, okay? All right, so this is this, your turkey beard holder. I'm sorry it's so drawn out, y'all, but I'm real. I'm gonna hold it up there like that for a while. Maybe it'll be a screenshot. People say, what the heck is that thing? But I like, you can either angle your beards, your spurs up or down, up or down. Okay? All right. One second. I got a bag of these uh, cup hooks, uh, and I'll get one out. And they don't have to be this big. These are one and a quarter inch, and these are solid brass, not coated or nothing like that. You don't 
you know. And this is going to hang on my display. I get a display board. Now that's a different story. All right, y'all come with me. I'm going to take you off the, the tripod. And I'll show you here. I mean, this is a long, drawn-out video, y'all. I'm sorry. But I, uh, this is a second coat. Let me, let me turn the light on. This is a second coat of uh, a board. And this is all cut at uh, third degree angle. And I made like webs. And I painted it black. And I drew that out pre-handed. I took a picture of a knife that I won in a raffle back in um, 1991 when I was in the, right before I went in the Marine Corps. And I, and I, and I pre-handed it. Drew it. All right, here you go. Then I would burn it. And I painted the edges with gloss black paint before I put the min wax polyurethane on there. I used a clear gloss. That's three coats. Yeah. But. Anyway, um, and I got my wife to make copies at work, so I have something to go by. Now, I still don't need anybody art, artwork. Just, you know, just uh, hope I'm not anyway. But, anyhow. Yeah, so, it's a long, drawn-out video, y'all. All right. Now we'll get back to the video. Put you back in the tripod. Got a fancy little tripod holder. Okay. Okay, but anyway, uh, anyway, y'all can. You know, y'all can, uh, like I say, use cup holders. I've already pre-drilled that uh, hole. I got this enough for 10. Then I use a piece of, uh, of project board. Or you use any kind of wood you want. That's what it's going to look like. And it'd be a lot night. I got mine hanging on a nail now. And just not too cool looking. But I like the wire. And there's no wire showing at all in there maybe maybe a tiny bit but you just take your fingers and but she's tight she ain't never going anywhere but that is my project okay y'all i want to say thank you for watching this is a good way to display your turkey beers if you like me i got tons oh my gosh i got turkey mantle up there over top of my shop Let's get to that. There he is right there. And that was just the, uh, the floating head tripod. Let me loosen that off my hair. There we go. That's a big old long beard. He's getting kind of old looking though, y'all. Killed him in 94. Turkey mounts are nice, but after when they get old. Woo wee. All right. Okay, y'all. Thank you for watching my video. I know it was long and drawn out, but I just wanted y'all to check, check out the turkey beard and how to make your own. That's a long video. so. Fast forward anything you want to. I not I edit it enough like that. I'm just putting it on there. Don't under, and don't take the plastic off the off the uh, the wire. Put my stained glass back on. Man, I'm getting old, y'all. 
Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm just getting white. Uh, really white. But there you go. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. And this is my, I use number nine, tarred wire. I'll put a link below. I got it from Sergeant Knotts. Try to support my local businesses. And I got the wire. I'll put a link on it from wherever I got it from, eBay. And the cup hooks and all that stuff. All right. Y'all take care now. God bless and semper fi. Hoorah. All right now. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.